Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge. Today we're gonna to be talking about where to buy some stencils as well as six tips for painting with stencils. So the great thing about stencils is that you can use them for a variety of different patterns and different designs. You can incorporate writing like this one. You can make different cards or artwork for a bedroom. You could do this project with kids as well and have them make some artwork for their room, paint the background abstract, and then add a stencil over top. So these are just some different designs that you can use. So you can buy stencils pretty much anywhere. You can get them online at Amazon. It's really great to check the reviews to make sure that you're buying a nice quality. You can also get them at your local art supply store like Michael's or Curry's. I'm just gonna show some of the stencils that I have and and just take a look at them. So when you're buying stencils, it's good to kind of see the design. Usually it's printed and it shows you what kind of design there is. These ones I got at a dollar store, but they're still a nice thick plastic to them, which is nice. I like working with plastic just because it's easy to clean and it's gonna be a better quality to work with. So these are some that I've bought online at Amazon. This is Follow Your Dreams. These are, this one's Hello Sunshine. Love You to the Moon and Back, that's this one. This is another um, You Are My Sunshine from Amazon that I got. This mandala I got from Michaels, which is really nice to incorporate. Um, some other ones, You Will Forever Be My Always, that's from Amazon. This is from Michaels. It's got a really nice thick plastic to it, which is good. And it was part of this kit that says, um, happy camper and let's go camping. So those will be very fun. The reason I like using plastic stencils is because they're easy to clean and they're a lot more durable. So this one is from Michaels. You can see that it's nice and thick and even the parts on the inside, they're not gonna rip or break. Whereas some stencils you can get that are cardboard or paper, the more that you use them, eventually they're gonna get ruined and get soggy and rip. So now that we kind of know where to buy different stencils, I'm gonna walk you through some tips on painting with stencils. So tip number one is to clean your stencil with a sponge and soapy water. You wanna make sure that you're laying it flat to clean it and to store it. So you could get a sponge and just kind of wipe it off to make sure that you're getting all of the paint off. Then you can rinse it with water and it's good to store your stencils flat horizontally so that you're keeping them longer, they're not getting bent and ripping off in pieces. So you can store them flat on a shelf or in a little box or container. All right, so tip number two is to secure your stencil with painter's tape. I like using painter's tape because it's not going to rip 
our painting or damage our painting in any way. And it's good to secure both the top and the bottom so that your stencil isn't going to move or go anywhere. Tip number three is you can use a special stencil brush or a sponge to paint with. So these are brushes from Martha Stewart and they're at Michael's. You can get other brushes as well on Amazon. Just type in stencil brushes and you're looking for brushes that have natural haired bristles. They're all kind of, these ones are different sizes, which is nice. See that there's different thicknesses. This could be good for smaller areas or if you're doing a really huge stencil, you can get something wider like this. And these stencil brushes are great because you're basically just gonna kind of dab the area when you're using them. So it's a lot easier to use than a regular paintbrush. If you don't have stencil brushes or you wanna save some money, you could use a regular brush with natural hair like hog hair, which would be kind of similar to this, um, like a nice round brush that's maybe a bit wider. And then you could just use that as well. Or you could use like a little sponge that's cut up or one of those sponge brushes as well. So tip number four is when you're painting, you just want to make sure that you're dabbing off extra paint. So you don't really need a lot of paint on your brush. So it's good to kind of mix your paint in one area. So I think I'm gonna do my writing in kind of an orangey color, orangey pinky color. So you can start by mixing your paint just with a regular brush. Get it all mixed to the color that you wanna work with. And then you can even just brush it on your bristles and that way you're not getting too much paint on the brush. So if you are sticking your brush in the paint, then you can just kind of dab it off so that you don't get too much paint on. And you don't want a lot of paint on because you want to make sure that it's not globby and that the paint doesn't stick, slide through underneath the stencil. So when you're using the stencil, you can just kind of hold it down flat to the canvas. And again, you just kind of want to dab. And don't worry about getting your stencil dirty because you can just clean that off afterwards. So as you're painting your stencil, you can always add different colors to some of the letters or to the design that you're using. So not only do you want to wait until the paint is dry before applying the stenciled area, but tip number five is to wait until the paint is dry before you peel off the stencil. So when I'm done painting this, I'm gonna make sure that I'm waiting till it's nice and dry. Also good to make sure that you don't have a lot of water on your paintbrush and that it's a nice dry brush.
so I'm just doing a second layer to make it cover it a little bit more. If you want to just do one layer and keep it transparent, you can do that as well. And then we're going to wait until it dries before we peel it off. It can be challenging because I know it's exciting to see what it looks like, but we definitely want to wait. All right, so now that we've waited until the paint is nice and dry, we're going to peel it off very carefully. So just start by peeling off my painter's tape. There we go, it's pretty good. There's a little bit of a missing area or some extra orange on there, but it looks pretty good. So tip number six is to just do any touch-ups with a fine detail brush. So mistakes are going to happen. That's just part of the painting process. So I have an extra glob of paint here and I can just cover it up. And so that's just part of what happens with painting. Everything else seems to look pretty good. There's some little tiny areas that just need touch up. But other than that, it looks Pretty All right, so just to review, you can clean your stencil with some soapy water and a sponge or a paper towel like this. It's good to clean up right away so that the paint doesn't have a time to dry. And when you're cleaning it flat and horizontally like this, you also wanna make sure that you're storing it in a safe place and storing it horizontally so you can store it on a shelf or in a box. Tip number two is to secure the canvas with painter's tape so that it dries nicely and it doesn't, the paint doesn't bubble over. Tip number three is you can use a stencil brush or a sponge to paint with. Tip number four is to dab off extra paint before you get started so that the paint doesn't run under the stencil and create globs. Tip number five is to wait until the paint is dry before peeling the stencil and you also want to make sure that the background is dry before you start the stencil. And lastly, tip number six is to paint over and do any touch-ups with a fine detail brush. If you make a big mistake, you can always paint over and try again.
So if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to see new videos. And you can leave a comment below if you have an idea for another paint tutorial. Thanks so much. Happy painting.